What's up everybody? It's Ben with Run Bigfoot Run and today I've got my product review for Knock Around Shades. As always, as part of being a Big Brave Pro, I am sent items to review. And for more information on being coming a Big Brave Pro, you can go to bibrave.com. While you're there, you can read and write and leave your own race reviews. So I've had these shades for about two to three weeks now. Um, I've got to say they are they are amazing. They're super lightweight. They come in polarized or non-polarized lenses. These are actually the premium models. So they're a little bit wider than their originals. You can get them custom designed. And these are the frosted gray and moonshine colorway. Uh, polarized, non-polarized. I want to say these are the polarized. And just amazing the difference. I mean, looking out here. We'll see what happens when I put these in front of my glasses, what it does. Hopefully we can see that. I won't know. I won't know if we can see that until I look at the video. Because I don't have a little camera that shows me, or I don't have a screen on this camera. It's just my camera, my little action cam that I use for filming these videos. But affordable, lightweight, polarized or non-polarized. They have different styles. Uh, very, very good pricing on them. I've worn them for multiple 7 mile runs, I've worn them for a 13 mile run, a 16 mile run, and they do not bounce, they don't shake, they don't fall off, they stay on your face really well. The, um, not really a, I mean looking at the sides here, looking at the fronts, hey we can see ourselves. Kind of a, a wayfairy style, maybe with the lens shape more so than the arms. Uh, so they have that classic look to them, which I really like in these glasses. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the glasses that sit tight to your face and wrap around that you see a lot of the cyclists wearing, or um, a lot of other runners wear. They'll wear those, I don't know what they're called. But they're the ones that kind of wrap your face. I don't like those. They don't breathe well. These, you get some air behind them. You get some breathing. Uh, I've never had these fog up on me. I guess come winter time or in the fall when it gets cooler, we'll see if that happens or not. It doesn't look like they are. I think there's enough breathability in between my face and the lenses where they wouldn't really do that. So we've got a good solid pair of glasses. No shake, no bounce. Uh, affordably priced, you can polarize or non-polarized, and they're really great. They're really, really good. They're super. I've enjoyed wearing them. I continue wearing them. I was actually sent two pairs. I don't have the other pair to show you because my wife has taken them, taken them from me, and uh, I have many attempts to get them back, and they have all failed. I had another pair of glasses that she was wearing, but you could see too much reflection inside the lens, like I guess the light reflecting, hitting the lens, bouncing back and you could see the inside, kind of what's behind you or beside you. She didn't like those. Not so much with these glasses. Or not so much that I've noticed. I didn't really notice it on my other pair of glasses I had either. But she noticed it. She didn't like it. So she put the other pair on, which was the black and amber. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Walker 70 I do have pictures of those glasses before she took them. I'll try to get them back and take some more pictures with them so you can see what they look like. And you, while you're at it, give Knock Around a follow. They just had a huge, huge sale. I think it might still be going on, but in the description, I'll give you a code. You get 20% off your orders, one time use code, or one time per person per use. So order some for yourselves, then get a friend to order some more. And there's a big tractor going down the road here. I think they're going to cut some hay. That's one thing about living out in the country. People are always cutting hay or cutting fields. But anyway, thanks for checking in. I will be back next week, maybe, with a review of a shoe I purchased. I actually purchased this shoe for $25. And um, I've seen reviews on it. I was kind of on the fence about it. I went ahead and did it for $25. Bucks. I mean, take the plunge and try it out. And surprisingly, the shoe is really, really nice. So I'll have that next week for you. Uh, I should have some more training updates for Freedom's Run coming up. And some more fun stuff. Um, 
The, but that's enough. This is about knock around. This isn't about what I'm doing. So tune in next week or later this week. I'll have some more for you. Peace.